And here you can see a live view of the South Padre Amphitheater where uh, both SpaceX employees, friends and family <laughs> and members of the public are gathering to uh, watch Starship lift off. Uh, and we can see the crowds are gathering there as well. And of course, we want to give a shout out to the SpaceX team. You see them there on screen, uh, members of our launch command, uh, excuse me, our Star Command Center. That is our Star Base Launch Control Center. Yep, those are the operators today who are going to be reviewing all the data and, of course, giving us the, the go, no go poll, checking the status to try to get in today's launch attempt just around 27 minutes from now. And one thing I do want to mention, I misspoke. It's not the South Padre Amphitheater, it's the Cameron County Amphitheater. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the entire Starship structure on your screen is made from stainless steel. When it's stacked, it stands about 120 meters tall. It's about nine meters around. And we have this awesome video that shows you uh, just how big that is. Uh, you can see one of our technicians there doing some final prep work in advance of today's test. And man, there's the 120 meter <laughs> monster. The person just keeps getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> and just like Falcon 9, Starship has two stages, which we'll talk more about those in a minute. In addition to those two stages, Starship actually has a third stage, which we call Stage Zero. It consists of all the launch pad infrastructure built around the rocket, as you can see there on your screen, uh, and it's truly an engineering feat in its own right. Yeah, we've got a great shot there of the various different components of it, uh, the pad, the infrastructure, uh, um, the, all that is required to get into filling the, the tanks. Now, let's talk about the Super Heavy. Its name says everything. It's super, it's heavy, it's super heavy. When it's operational, it'll be responsible for providing the power to escape that mighty gravitational pull of Earth that we've got here uh, and take Starship into orbit. The booster itself stands about 70 meters tall and is roughly the same height as a fully integrated Falcon 9, which is just so crazy to me. 